of characters. Yes, perfect. Recording. All right. All right. Uh, different questions. Uh, listen, your voice is a is a very good melodic voice, but you in uh, it's possible you students in engine technique or or with one teacher. Uh, <coughs> well, I did I did. Uh, oh, this is Eric here with the smoky voice. Uh, I don't smoke, but I this is the way I talk all the time anyway with like kind of this gravel. I took uh, vocal lessons when I was a kid. With a, with a band, I had like my own band, Eric Martin Band, and we took lessons from this lady named Judy Davis, who yeah. taught like Frank Sinatra and yeah, uh, all these all these other artists, but like artists in that ilk, this girl named Vicky Carr, all like kind of you know torch singers, crooners, but she Crooner. she taught me how to. Um, my stamina, and I always told her, like you know, I had sore throats all the time being on the road, and she she used to uh, tape all the lessons, and then and then sell them to me, right? But um, and I still like like right here on this computer, Judy Davis sore throat exercise, and uh, I I do it all the time, whether it works or not, it's just psychological now, but uh, my main technique and I'm sure you got a bunch of questions but uh, my main uh, how I keep my voice strong is I get eight hours sleep yes and if I don't get any sleep I suck yes I will prayer. suck completely yes. if you don't sleep it's de uh, totally the voice yeah it's worse than drinking alcohol to me if I, I you know like I think I, you know, I got like about six hours last night because they had free inter internet in the hotel and I was so excited to like email all my friends and uh, so I might take a little nap before the show yeah. <laughs> all right uh, I suppose uh, you don't uh, your style lifestyle is without a smoke I don't smoke we in drink a little drink uh, yeah yeah I, I drink uh, but I know when uh, like I don't, I don't drink hard alcohol uh, anymore um, and I did you know like I always did the in the beginning when I first started going on the road I I, I pulled all the rookie rookie type moves you know party after the show oh man what a great show and you forget that you got another show the next day that's got to be yes as great too and I, I used to forget that when I was a kid so I learned some really hard lessons and so I don't drink hard alcohol anymore I'll have a couple beers after the show, but even that, I you know, I kick myself. I go, oh man, you can't do this, man. You're you gotta, you know, you're doing it for the fans, and you're also I don't want I don't want my band to like, yes, you know, get all because it you know they need me on that wall, they need me on that line. Yes, I suppose it's necessary for the singer not drink too much. No, no, because no, no, I, I don't drink too much anyway. I don't get drunk like I used to. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all right. Uh, mm, you suffered uh, polypops, nodules of aphonis, or some other problem in your vocal cords for singing excessively? You have problems, nodules, polypops oh, have I, have in I, the charts, vocals? I did. I, years ago. I, years ago. And, you know, I never had a doctor. No, I've had some doctors look at me ever since, and they said they haven't seen anything, but. I had like three not uh, what are nodes, nodes. nodules, nodes. nodes, nodules. Yes. Uh, scraped off. You Jump. operate? Yeah, an yeah. operation. Couldn't talk for about two months. Um, couldn't sing, and uh, I don't know if it helped me or not. You know? Do you think it's mm, um, by many concerts followings? This is the reason. Um, singing improperly. You know, screaming. And not breathing, you know. That yeah, I mean, like I was, I just, I was just screaming, you know, and then trying to scream really high all the time. Every all singers have problems. Graham Bonnet problems. Uh, all it's, it's, yeah, it's normally yeah. I'm For the profession, suppose. By the profession. James Labrie have problems. He seems like he's pretty consistent all the time, you know, like Steve Perry. Or uh, Steve Potter, or yes. the kid um, Arnel Pineda, 
the new singer from Journey. Well, he doesn't sound like he had problems at all. You know? But, um, yeah, I think what it is is just... Um, you know, you, you definitely should get checked out. But I'm not... I don't, I don't recommend getting, getting your throat all scraped up. I don't know. I think it might have hurt me in a, yeah. in a little bit. Just... Um, it's a difficult question. Let us think that the voice is different in each stage of life, and it changes through the years. Yeah. In approximated age, several stages exist: infantile or white, six years; adolescent, young person; adult, mature, and veteran and presbyphonia. Yeah. Has Eric Martin noticed any change in the voice in the? Oh, it says, yeah. Yes, changes the voice uh, through <coughs> the years. For years, I mean, like I was, you know, they, they, we used to make jokes all the time, like, you know, if your balls hasn't, haven't dropped. Yes. You know, when you get older and your, your tes testicles fall, you know, it never used to happen for me. I used to, I could sing like high forever. Like, I mean, like, oh, I'm Mr. Big. I mean, like, uh, when I was like in my 40s, you know, 38, you know, and I'm close to 50 now. So, uh, oh yeah, it changed for me in my 40s. That's what happened, and I and I got darker, you know, and but for me, uh, I had like a uh, a deficiency of testosterone in my yes. like when I was growing up, I had like a not that much like I you know like say you have testosterone in your body like a hundred and something percent, I only had like eighty seven or eighty, and so. I could sing really, really high, and forever. And then when I was like 40 years old, something changed. Changed. Yes, Maybe I, that's yes. when I started to get mature or something like that, you know. But uh, yeah, it's. You think it's baby testosterone? Yeah, and might, I think so. Yes, you yes, know? I suppose. But it, I didn't have that much, you know, when I started, and then like when I got to be at 40, I'm, you know, I'm like, I'm not saying like I'm completely abnormal, but. I sang great all the way up until I was 40, and then I, ha I had some problems with it, um, where uh, my voice got a little deeper, and yeah. before I used to be like really high all the time, and, and I can do as many vocal lessons as I want, or uh, um, you know get enough sleep, I still won't be able to hit those really really high notes like I used to, and it sucks because. I mean, that's me. I mean, like those other singers you mentioned, you know, back in Jolin Turner, man, he can have a glass of wine and he can still do it, you know. But um, for me, something changed yes, over yes. the years. My voice has changed also. I know. From, yes, yes. I know, it's frustrating. I mean, I can still sing and kick ass, but um, it's just the way it is. <laughs> and, you, and even, you know, I'm not saying anything that was, because I pretty much, I mean, I took care of myself, you know, but the problem is, is when you're, when you're home, and you're not doing anything on the road, and you just, you're waiting to go on the road, then you drink, then yes. you do stupid shit, so, for me, I mean, because my voice has changed so much, I don't do anything, you know, Yes. So I have to lead a, kind of a boring life. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes. This is similar questions. Mm. Many professional singers through the change in the voice, for example, Young Gillan or Robert Plant. Do you think that the change is the voice of Young Gillan or Robert Plant is doing uh, other causes, excess of concerts? Is possible? Young Gillan uh, sing every night. Yeah, Ian Gillan. I don't think Robert Plant sang every night in Led Zeppelin. They didn't play that many shows, did they? Or did they? Did they have a lot of touring? And you know, like, you know, Robert Plant could. He sang really high all the time, but that that was his thing, you know. But he, but his melodies changed. Like he was kind of a jammy kind of singer back then, so he could pretty much work at his own pace. Um, no, I think it was probably like other things <laughs> that the rubber plant. Um, but you know, 
it doesn't bother me that Robert Plant is can't do like like how he used to do. He's got a whole new life now, like a whole new kind of style, you know. And it, that doesn't bother me. I, you know, there's not there's no more Led Zeppelin without yes. Jimmy Page. They I don't let I don't really like seeing Robert Plant do Led Zeppelin songs anyway, so I don't really care. You know. Yes. Do you know what I mean? I, I don't. I mean, Ian Gillen, you know, he still does the Deep Purple thing, but, like, that guy's pretty consistent, isn't he? But I see, sing... Uh, Smoke! Oh, wow, he still but this, is, this is natural voice, but when, when I scream, this is today is possible sing Smoke on the Water tonight for Ian Gillen, but, by example, uh, Charlie Time or another song, is screaming falsetto. Yeah. Now it's very difficult to Ian Gillen. Glenn Hughes Glenn he doesn't but, have a problem. Yes, but Glenn Hughes but, is, but, but Glenn Hughes screams like a lot. You know, I suppose Glenn Hughes have other other technique. But yeah, yeah, he, like uh, he's inside. But Young uh, Glenn is old. It's yeah. totally different. I know. Just I suppose for Young Glenn, are you a vocal teacher? Yes, you are a vocal teacher. Yes, I work like a vocal teacher in the school. Wow. Uh, but so what, what about like <clears throat> okay like right now for me this weather is deceiving because it's damp right and it's you know it I get that little bit of a uh, yeah, kind of thing uh, happening yes. and I drink throat coat tea like so much and I, I don't you know fruit and all that kind of shit but like I uh, problem is talking during the day you know they, they they say like you know if you whisper that's the worst for you isn't yes. it yes 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 <laughs> okay all right but anyway, what well, your question was and the question is for excessive concerts um it's just this fucking constant you know like is bad for your boys too much concerts ah yeah yeah it is I can't do the five in a row like I used to you know I can I can barely do two, you know? Um, and it suffers, the band suffers f for it, you know, because we get a day off and we should be working to keep, you know, it costs a lot of money. You know, this bus is probably like 5000 a day or, a, you know, every couple days, so. And everybody, like, everybody, you know, I'm, I'm like the, uh, the, you know, I'm very important to everybody on this road, right? So everybody's like, you take care of yourself, right? you feel okay? Everybody's always asking, you doing okay? You all right? Better get some sleep, you know? Yes. Because you know, <laughs> yes. yeah. I mean, you know, the fans are coming to hear some solos, but they, they want to they wanna sing to the, they want to sing along with the, with the band, you know? Yes, yes. And with the singer. So, uh, I, I, it probably is an excess, excessive concert, you know? But maybe not proper training. Maybe it's, you know, it's good. I don't always. see Robert Plant ever doing. Maybe he does training now. I don't think he probably did. Did he do any training back in the day? I don't know. I don't think so. Does Ian Gillen do vocal lessons? No. Yeah, now see, you, but the, you gotta get it. I, the you know, father, you get it the father of Ian Gillen, the father of the father, is a singer opera, and the mother teacher of piano. But Ian Glenn start very young to sing her. It's not possible to take classes. In the three years ago, I started mm -hmm. one interview with the, with him. He explained with me about the, it's impossible for me uh, classes because I start very young yeah. to, to sing. Well, what happened, you know, I used to do this like weird high-pitched scream all the time. Like, you know, I can't do it now. <laughs> you know, really high. Yes, yes. And, and Mr. Big. And I did it so much that sometimes a falsetto will come out, but I lose that falsetto on the road. But that scream is gone. I, I try to do it like, you know, an Addicted Out Rush or Daddy Brother. I mean, I try to do it, and I, I just can't do it. And then, then Billy and Paul, they, they, they think they can do it too, but they do it, but it does not the same thing, you know. But they, like, they're like, we'll help you. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> but do, do really people care? I mean, I I don't know. 
you, uh, also some singers use some illegal soft anti-inflammatories they sing for several days uh, have you ever taken cortisone of another substance yeah yeah all that shit I mean it's probably bad for me but not cortisone but like B12 shots you yes, know your fatigue he have one substance one medulla yeah, Joel Interna with many days he following. Has, he has all kinds of like little ingredients and he's, a, you know, yeah, because he told me about something that he, like all these health food remedies and kind of thing. I, w I wish I could remember. I met Paul Rogers last year. Yes. Right? And I was an awestruck. I mean, it was completely starstruck. And I was asking him how he keeps his voice fit and he said some kind of like some kind of like a medicine but for, it was from the sea and it was in Canada and he's talking to me and all I could think was, was like oh my god that's the dude man like, you know like I didn't even pay attention to anything he said I was just staring at him going you, you know you're god like you're a god to me <laughs> you know but he <laughs> told me this medicine and I forgot it and it's some kind of like some kind of a clam or some kind of a thing that you get from the sea you know yes. have you ever heard of it it's from the ocean you know what I'm talking about no yeah and I mean no I've never I'm like just throat coats and um, you know god like yes a ton of Ricola they used to have Ricola tea which was pretty good um, but you know I've gotten cortisone things but not for my throat oh you never had acupuncture and that works actually yes I've had, you know in my head and all kind of like my chest and everything I remember when I was in a, doing a Japanese one of the Japanese tours and I did it and I helped out I I you know singers we get sick a lot just because we're you know, you from the elements. You know, it depends on like okay, like in Spain. I mean, yes. everybody likes to smoke. Shit, man. There's like, <laughs> <laughs> Eric, I love you. <laughs> you. You know, like there's more smoke coming from the audience than the smoke machine on stage, which is another fucking problem. Yes, I remember one concert of Jethro Tull. Ian Anderson yeah. is playing the stage. Please don't smoke. Yeah, I know it's hard. <laughs> it's hard. I we've got these two fans on either side of the stage. I want to turn them around, and it'll kill two birds with one stone. The audience will be like, not so sweaty, and then the smoke will blow back in their face. Um, but no, I mean, God, do you have any, do you have any remedies for singing? Uh, what? Like any kind of like health remedies? If I you? make a for you, for you, for me. Yes, I in five times maybe. Five times cortisone. Yes. But what about what about natural ingredient? Natural. Yes, stuff? natural. I I don't never natural substance n never. No, no, like uh, teas or ah, teas. Yeah, that, that's what I mean. Like, do you it's have more better? Yes. Do you have no no? Do you have any uh, thing that you take that make your fo voice feel good? Do you? My voice. When you sing, yes, and you're going to do a concert, and you don't, and you feel kind of scratchy, yes. What do you take? Uh, for me, for me, it's good. For me, breathless, ten minutes is this next question. Breathless, many time. Mm, first, I warm up the voice. Mm, oh, inside. Is that the way you didn't First, for the for after, yeah. This for the falsetto voice, right. I I because this is necessary to to start okay. to the one time many times in when it's impossible high scream, I more uh, good more uh, is, is necessary many control I need in it's necessary for me no scream the first night 
yeah, yeah. I start to scream the third night or fourth night. Yeah, 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 slowly, yeah. slowly, slowly, slowly. Because the first night I go the stage. Thank you very much. All yeah, time. I know. It's gone. I know. Well, because it's it's like a like whispering in a different way. You know, just like drying out your throat. Yeah, I always I tell the band I go, we got a bass to set. Right, and it goes, yeah, well, this music goes perfectly with this. And I go, yeah, no, 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 no. I don't, like, Green Tin at 60. Okay, here it is. Daddy Brother, Take Cover, which is, which is an easy song to sing until it gets later on in the song. It's kind of a vocal lesson. And yes. then it gets higher. Yes. And then, but Green Tin at 60 is mine. It's hard. Because it's like, you know, there's no room to breathe. She just, well, and it's every, it's, it's really hard. And I used to do, uh, I, I used to sing all the harmonies with the guys all the time. Lead vocal, harmonies, lead vocal, everything. And then I just kind of went, ah, oh, fuck it. I, we started doing vocal lessons within ourselves. I would teach them a couple of things I know. And uh, they're better without me. My sound engineer always goes, oh, come on, Eric. I really want you to sing, you know, you be looking groovy and all that stuff. I, got, I do, but like, God, man, it just seems like it's too much. We played 29 fucking songs. Yes, yes. Or 25. God. Yes. Too much. Uh -huh. Too much for the fans, too much for me. Um, I don't... I don't do a breath kind of thing. I should. Yeah, I mean, like, my teacher used to... It was like... You know, almost like giving birth. <laughs> kind of stuff, yes. you know? But um, I always, if I can go, I, can, I don't want to ruin it right now. But if I, if I can, you know, hit, I go uh, hit it like really high note and go. If I go, I don't want. I was like, woo! If I can do that and an actual falsetto comes out, yes. I go, Lord have mercy! It's going to be a great show, and that always works. But. It's psychological. It's psychological. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Maybe. But you, uh, <coughs> what is your opinion about warming up the voice before I show you? I have the to. Verb. I have to and warm down after the show. After the show, too, doing the same kind of, you know, um, there's a lesson. It's like, he, you. These kind of lessons are like, Many men and many women mining many mines and get all that, like, smooth out the, the, the bubbles, because uh, sometimes we're doing, we're doing a half step down, you know, some of it, and it, and it's good and it's bad, because my voice is so used to being in this one register. You know what I'm talking about? Like you, sing, you can sing high, but then there's this one part in the middle that's like, <sighs> and then it gets down here. Ah, uh, you know what I mean? That part bugs the shit out of me, and I don't know what I'm doing wrong. Sometimes, I always think it's old age. Maybe I did. You know, I did take some vocal lessons from. You know who Bobby McFerrin is? Yes. Well, Bobby McFerrin has a group. It's called Voicestra, and this one guy that was in the group, Raz Kennedy. And he costs so much money, but I've done some things for him, and he's given me vocal lessons. I'm not. I love it. I I I, I welcome. It. I mean, somebody's going to give me a vocal lesson. I'm going to do it, you know. But um, yeah, I have to warm up and I have to warm down, and I don't like talking to people too much after the show. You know, I like. Yeah, you don't. But everybody wants to ask questions. Yes. Where's Billy? Yes. <laughs> The problem for the singers is all people speaking always about you. <laughs> are, 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 uh, all time speaking, uh, many sound... In a club, too. In a club, in a club. Yes, in a club. Well, yeah, that's right. Yes. And the next day, fuck. <laughs> what are your favorite singers? My favorite singer, um, Paul Rogers. Paul Rogers. He, he can do anything, you know. Um, Otis Redding. Otis Redding. Ah, Otis Redding. In, uh, in Spanish, the vocalization Otis is the Redding. Otis Redding, yes, yes. Yes, <laughs> sitting on the dock of the bay, Mr. Pitiful. I, I grew up listening to a lot of soul music. 
Sam Cook. Sam Cook. Uh, yes. uh, Mark Farner from uh, Grand Funk Railroad. Yeah. Remember that guy? That guy was a good singer. And and obviously, you know, I was fans of of Robert Plants and, and all those other people. But I wanted to be just like a lot of us. Even like, oh man, you missed my story. I, you're. Uh, about a year ago, I did an award show. Yes. And uh, uh, I was talking to Paul Rogers. Yeah. Like I said, I was right. starstruck. Yes. And then I came down to earth, and he was genuinely, he wanted to know what I, you know, what I was all about. And we became friends. Well, in this, here's this, all these people are backstage, and David Coverdale's coming up to me. <laughs> and he goes, Paul, me so much. Eric, um... Who's your friend? And I go, it was so surreal to me. I go, David Coverdale, idol. You know, David Coverdale, this is my friend Paul Rogers. And then David goes, you're one of my favorite singers of all time. And that's what Paul Rogers was to a lot of yeah, just our genre, you know? Our rock and roll, that's where he came, our rock and roll roots. And he, he used to listen to soul music when he was younger and stuff. He can do anything. I love that guy. I'm not crazy about him taking over uh, Freddie Mercury's spot in, Qu in Queen, but I do, I do love the guy's voice, and he's an idol. I don't I, understand Paul Rogers in, in, in Queen. I don't understand it either. I but, don't understand. But if, but if Brian May and Roger Taylor don't mind, whatever. I mean, people go to see the concert. Um, it's not, it's not for me. I like Free and Bad Company and his solo stuff. But um, what I was gonna say was, but I like all that came after Paul Rogers. I mean, I like I love Joe Lynn Turner. And I love David Coverdale. Glenn Hughes is for Glenn, Glenn Hughes. Hughes is the best Paul Rogers. Glenn Hughes is pretty much, you know, and then Glenn Hughes, Glenn Hughes's son, Richie Cotton. Yes, <laughs> yes, 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 it's very similar. I listen to Richie Cotton, singer, the last year. It's very similar to the Glenn Hughes. Oh, man. What I, what I the, the vibrato is very similar. Yeah, Maybe the, the R&B, the twists, the soul. Yes. yes. But Glenn Hughes is the... Yes. Yeah, he's the, he's, the man. He's, the, he's the man. He's the man for you. <laughs> yes. Paul Rogers is the man for me because... I mean, Glenn Hughes, yeah, he's definitely got the fire. Just um, um, this is a difficult question. Most of the singers that we interviewed, mainly the ones older than uh, five years, mm -hmm. say that they are more comfortable with their voice now than when they were younger, having they lost the higher history. Why do you think this perception exists? Do you think it's real or it's psychological for you? I no, it's it's physical for me. Yes, I mean, I, I'm young and see me now. For me, my voice is more better when I are young, and old people. No, this is impossible. Yes, for young Gillen. Uh, yeah. Well, for me, uh, I you know, for me, I sang high and all that stuff, but I was more concentrating on the singing and not the lyrics. And I'm, lyrics are very important to me. And I was like all over the place, and I jammed on everything, and I never, I never stayed with the melody. I mean, granted, the hits like "To Be with You" and "Just Take My Heart," and the more notable songs like "Daddy Brother" and "Addicted at Rush." But all the other songs, I got bored on the road. Even you know the fans loved the way it sounded on the record, but I'd be all over the place singing, and you know, cause I could, and I miss. I love the way I did sound. Uh, in um, like when I when I sang like in 2002 and I did this actual size record for Mr. Big. That's that's me now. But uh, in 1996 when I did this album Bump Ahead, or even no God 92 with Lean Into It, I loved the way I sound back then. I mean I was powerful. I didn't have very much low register though. It was all high, and I do like I do like the resonance of my 
lower register, or you know, or a, ten, yes, or a yes, tenor. Yes. But I do miss the way I used to sound. I mean, I fucking YouTube. I watch YouTube and I go, oh my god, I was the man. Yes. Um, I don't think I'm as good as I was back then, but I'm all you got. I'm the best I got, you know, right now. And I think mainly, I, I mean, I do vocal lessons, but I'm not consistent at it. And I think if I was consistent at it, because I, I've, you know, for me, it almost felt like it was working. And I'm working. I sing like every night practically and then I have this other project that I'm yes. also singing for where I'm it's a, a project that I'm doing for Sony where I'm like singing more like torch songs and crooning and singing love songs and stuff Japanese pop songs that are translated to English that's like I have a whole new career doing yeah. that and then I sing like rock and roll you know bluesy or screaming or on this on this side and so I always felt like the vocal lessons were like oh, that's another form of talking I'm, maybe I just won't talk, and that helped, but not really. I had, you know, you like even in the beginning of this tour, we played Estonia and and Helsinki, and they were awesome. I was on fire, but the next gig in Denmark, I could totally tell I was like edgy. That's because I hadn't found my, I hadn't, you know, grooved my voice, you know, like. Um, Maybe you sand, sanded it down, like you know when you sand some furniture. It just it didn't. I didn't have my groove on, and um, and that was my fault because I didn't do enough vocal lessons before I went out on the road. I didn't train. Yeah. You know, granted, I, I stopped drinking and I, you know, I slept good, but you still, you know, you're, I'm older, so I you got to train a little bit more. Train at your own pace, but you got to train more. And uh, I'm at the moment. I'm I'm suffering from from it. I mean, I'm 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 getting over, and the crowd loves it. And I'm doing I'm doing the best I got, but it's not the best I I could be doing because of uh, not doing enough folk lessons. Kids at home, you better hear this. Yes, yeah. it's a very complicated. This the boys. Mm. It seems in the last years there no are new singers like you. In the past, uh, we have Flynn Hill, and James Dio, Jimmy Cobra, Lou Graham, and luckily the are still alive. But it seems that now there are uh, noble new singers coming and saying something new. Do you think we are in a creative crisis? What's your opinion of the lack of new singers? Well, always the best rock singers, singers or yeah, rock singers. Yeah, there's not a lot. And they are the ones that are out there. They they sound really similar to ACDC kind of style. You know, there's a lot of ACDC type of singers. You know, like the guy from Airborne, which I think is really a good band, but that guy sounds just like Brian Johnson with a little bit of Chris Robinson thrown in, you know, from Black Rose. But I don't know, there's not... There's not a lot, but I, hey, I love the fact that you think that I'm unique. I mean, I think I I borrowed so much when I was 16, just like we all did. You know, we borrowed everybody, and then then you then I started to have my own style. But the, this singer is totally different because David Coverdale is not similar to Ronnie James Dio, and Glenn Hughes is totally different. Right. Graham Bonnet is a, is a new singer. Uh, every singer in this time is totally different. But now... But I would say, uh, yeah. You are one of the last great singers. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. yes. <laughs> You're blowing smoke up my skirt. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Woo, my skirt's rising. Um, you know... Now it's very difficult to see one new singer. Great singer like Joy Turner, or, uh, it's very difficult. Why? There's some. Hey, you know what? That kid Arnel Pineda, the new singer of uh, of Journey, he's good and he's consistent. Oh, I'll tell you, Jeff Scott Soto sounds the same as he used to, kinda. I mean, I've seen him a bunch of times. Um, we have this other side side band called Scrap Metal, where it's me and him. The Nelson brothers, 
um, Jack Blades from Night Ranger, Kelly Kagi on drums from Night Ranger, and, and Mark Slaughter. And we have like a side band. And like I said, I watched Jeff Scott Soto and he still sounds really, really good. But you mean are the new singer? There's no new. I don't really hear, I haven't heard any new. Is Yorlande is one of the last singers. Jeff Scott Soto. I think we must but but it start at uh, 14, 15 years. Uh, but new singers, you are the last generation. <laughs> no? <laughs> I'm older than you are. Uh, I don't know. You know what? Good. Good. Maybe I, you know, I was telling um, the guy, what's the guy downstairs? Really nice guy. Journalist. The, this guy? Yeah. Sergio. Says you, see, yes, yeah, you know. really nice guy. And I was telling him that, like, it's so frustrating walking into a record store and seeing thousands and thousands of bands. You know, there's just so many of them. But you know, when you just said, you know, I'm, I'm like one of the last of my kind. You know, I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> you know, it is. I'd like to see some new breed, like from your school. You know, do you got like one or five or ten great? male, female singers that are going to come out and knock, you know, blow the roof off. Do you? Yes. Um, my students tonight go to see. Uh oh. <laughs> yes. yes. They're going to see my my mic technique and they're going to they're going to be like this. <laughs> like when I'm going to hit a high note, you know, so, you know, like I don't think so. That, yeah, of course they do. I do. I go seeing singers all the time, you know. You know, you are a great singer, but always is difficult to start. The third, the third or fourth songs when you start, the oh, voice I always know. is necessary, maybe. But for, for me, but you know, after you are a splendid singer. Thank you. For me, for me, when I, you know, if you're a red hot firecracker, as soon as I sing, if you're a red hot firecracker, which is the opening line of Daddy Brother, I'm powerful, and take cover comes in, and I'm good, and I'm like. But you don't use it? too much the falsetto voice. Uh -uh. Why? I, I don't know where it is. You don't like I don't know where it is. It's gone. Sometimes it's there and sometimes it's gone. I mean, like, how do you get it? And just doing all the time yes, doesn't yes, really... Yes, it's impossible, yes. I mean, yeah, if you're, like, singing hard... See, that's the problem with me. <clears throat> I never... I never really used to have good sound people. So I always felt like I had to sing harder, so they would, so I would be above the band, to to, yes. to be on there. And my sound engineer, she, she always goes, "Yeah, you don't have to sing that hard." And I go, "Yeah, but I got to get a little edge, you know." She goes, "Well, you got to balance it out." And I have micro monitors now. I've had for years, but it's so difficult. for me. It's very good, uh, breathless for here and all time. Yeah. Yeah. All time, all time. This is Raz Kelly, yes, man. All time, yeah. Yes. And it's for me. Not, as not on stage. In the stage. Like on stage, you're like, yes. Fucking crazy <laughs> fucker. <laughs> A little bit. Yeah. <laughs> yes, but it's natural when you. When you. I don't have the fault. Do you have the fault set a little bit? A lot? I, a little bit. Just, I have one problem because I sing Challenge Time. Ten years ago, and all day in the last years, pay, the people pay money for I sing challenge them. I if I feel very tired all nights, always the people. <coughs> please, Luis, you can sing challenge time over time. For me, it's horrible. I don't like. Yeah. But only the people pay they money want for this song yeah. and for this repertoire. Yeah. Yes, I sing in one uh, Deep Purple cover band. It's Perfect Strangers. Yeah. yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, oh, so like a Deep Purple. Yes, a cover of Deep Purple. Cool. I sing tours in Switzerland, in Austria, I Germany. Yeah. We all, all time, all oh, night. That looks. It seems like it hurts. I change the my band. I try record their other albums, other style, but the people always. Luis, you can return to sing with Perfect Strangers. I have win one tour for you. Oh, man. When you start in one style, it's very difficult abandon I this style I, for starting another project. I get it now. 
when I was on the road, well, I mean, when I made all those records with Mr. Big, I'd, I'd be like doing all kinds of shit, and really high harmonies and doing all stuff. And I, I went, oh yeah, I got to sing like this every night. And so, uh, you know, I'm glad I did it back then, but I don't know why, What what is, how do you get your falsetto back? How do you, as a teacher, how do you get your falsetto? Like in the beginning, like, daddy brother, I have it, you know. Like I can't do the, uh, you know, there's a lick and there's a call of the wild. I, I can't hit that really high note, so I'll just like, I'll do a falsetto and call. And I can do that. But in, then addicted, it, in Addicted to the Rush, you finish with one falsetto in the album. Yeah, can't do Yo! that. But five seconds. Can't uh, do it anymore. <laughs> Yes, this is terrible because the people always think this part. Yeah, you can repeat. I'll, I'll try. I'll, I'll scream, and nothing. No, no, it'll come out. I'll just be like, yeah. And uh, Paul, Paul always feels like you know. Paul always does it. Yes. I know it's frustrating, but fuck it. You know, I'm gonna live and die by my scream. No way. I mean. I, you know, I sang and I do a great, I think I could do a good show and I totally connect with the audience. I'm like, I'm staring right at them so much that the fans are like, okay, stop looking at me, you know? I mean, I'm, I'm in their face. But uh, in the end when they go, oh, do that little scream. Yes. Like, I, I do the best I can, but that's all they fucking talk about. <laughs> yes. It's pathetic. Oh. But why is the Russian the people is you are more better singer if you sing more high notes. That's the way it is. I mean you know, well you'll see. You haven't heard me sing in a while. You'll hear I don't alter anything, it just I'll just I'll I'll change around. But it used to bother me when like Lou Graham would be going, you know, I've been waiting for a girl like he'd go, I've been waiting. Yes. Change the Yeah, yes. that's hard. They should slow it down, you know, or put do it down a half step or a whole step or something. Which I sometimes back in the day I think they did. And just got so used to it, you know. But what do you do? How do you get your falsetto? Mm, you my falsetto? Yeah. How do you keep it? I have different falsettos. Yeah, the falsetto of the Angelini is without pal palatone staphylin muscle is out. Yeah. And yeah. but the other is different. Yeah. It's more breathless. It's totally different. I know. But the muscle but is the inside. But that never comes out live. When because it, when you, yes. you get the mic and you're like it won't come out yeah, so it's because I don't have the I don't have the breath control the patience I'm like sweating I'm like <laughs> yes. running around and you're like and then you're trying to do that one thing and it's like it doesn't come out as loud as like right now it comes out loud kind of but it doesn't compute or it doesn't come out the same way as you go in that microphone and that sound person have to crank it up you know I remember Everybody used to tell me, like, Steven Tyler doesn't sing that hard. He sings really quiet. But he always sounds like he's, like, you know. He always, you know, that, that, that you know, uh, I don't want to miss a thing, even when I die, da, da, you know. He just sings really quiet all the time, and he just has, like, there's so many fucking monitors on stage. Yeah. You know. Anyway. We fucking started crying here. <laughs> <laughs> for me, I think in falsetto, but it's horrible for me. I don't like. But the people all time want this style. For me, it's very tired. But this is a problem. Yes. Uh, an advice for the students who want to become singers. Um, okay, first of all, it's not just the singing. It would be great for you to learn how to play drums, to keep a rhythm. Okay, first of all, yeah, vocal lessons, of course. 
Because you got no one, no fan wants to hear a fucking singer singing it flat. And that's a, a, a problem when you're like, you know, you're, uh, if you don't have the vocal lessons going and you just go out on the gig and you got to have proper, like, earphones or monitors because you can sing flat. And I've done it millions of times before because I couldn't hear myself singing Just Take My Heart flat. And, uh, and looking at my band, they're going, no, no, it, it sucks, you know. Um, but learn how to play the drums to get some rhythm going. Yeah, you know, rhythm. everybody, yeah, a metronome's not going to really cut it. I mean, you're going to, if you get a metronome only, you're going to be like, and when the, when, you know. Yes. So, yeah, learn how to play some drums. Play piano. Play piano, get, yes. Yeah, man, you, that's your, your source of melody. You know, you can't just... You can't just belt it out. I mean, I don't know who you teach. You know, like, I'm not, I'm not crazy about, you know, this death metal kind of, you know, that kind of shit. I don't like that stuff. But get some sleep. You know, it's all right. Yeah, sleep is the major, major key. Uh, don't talk so much, you know. Uh, you know, don't hang it out. Don't hang out and party with the guys after the show, you know. I, which is a big mistake for me because I, you know, love to fucking laugh and joke around and and uh, so you gotta have a you gotta have a, f a focus. Focus is the next gig. So gotta get some sleep. But learning all these instruments, it's gonna be yes, it's one know, of the best beneficial thing. for you. Um, and uh, wear a scarf. Yes, <laughs> you know. And uh, don't go out in there. I don't know if it's a myth. I think it's a myth, but the band, you know, your band will hate it if you go out in the in the uh, in the cold with wet hair. Uh, it might be a myth, but your band will fucking kill you. All right? Yeah. Yes. I did it for his. Band. I remember. He's the one you tell me. <laughs> Two years ago, three years ago, one clinic in my school. But cool. Yeah, that's good. Um. The last question, what would you like us to say in this interview to all the young rock singers? What I'd like to say, um, I'm waiting for you, you know, um, but you're not going to bump me off my, uh, you're not going to bump me off the mountain. I don't look over my shoulder like I used to. I'm comfortable in my shoes. I used to like look over my shoulder and there'd be like a new singer coming out of the woodwork, you know, whatever. And I look at it like this. I'm really comfortable in my shoes, and uh, I like the place I'm in right now. But I'm waiting for some new singers to join me. You know? Yes. So there you go. I'm waiting for you guys and girls. I have a little gift for you. This is is it a vocal lesson. CD? No, this is God a CD, damn it, too bad. But only opera. It's it's not a rock singer okay. because it's necessary for me change. Of heavy metal all is this day. You? Yes, this is this is my voice, but with uh, yes, with only piano, piano and voice only. It's for relax for you. Oh, great! When you have finished the concert or when you won, it's only piano and voice opera. Ludovico. Ludovico is my name, Luis in Latin. Luis. Luis. A monk, monk is from Thelonious Monk is the piano. It's a, it's a mixed uh, num num uh, number. Cool. And in all is opera. Maybe you know uh, Una Furtiva Lagrima, Donizetti. No. Yes, you, it, all very famous areas of the opera. <laughs> Did you get this to Paul? This is a. I, I will listen to it on the bus because Paul is just like a, a major. Uh, this is so. for one album different because I feel very tired. Great album cover. Very tired every night seeing. Thank you very much. Are you ready to rock? Yeah. You love it. Some I, of you love so half of you loves it and half for, of you for me, loves it. Oh, Jesus. For me the rock is is the best art. It's fantastic. But when you go, you know, the fans when you're like, oh, yeah, come on, you know. And some of you go, so, uh, half of you is like, oh my god, it feels like you're you know, oh, you want to see more fireworks? You know, you see one firework and you're like, a, ooh, ah, yes. Keep going. They want to see more fireworks. 
Yes, and uh, many times the problem is a big problem because you can sing Charlie Time, please. You can, but your voice today is no fucking <laughs> go out in the stage and sing you. Exactly. <laughs> All people always in this country, maybe in your country, I don't know, but here in Spain, all people speak too much. They do. Yes. Everybody's got an opinion. Hey, you know, we in America, or I think I don't know, Billy came up with this, but like, opinions are like assholes. Everybody's got one. Yeah. <laughs> you know? anyway. Is possible one peak? Yeah. Sure. Thank you. Oh, well, no problem. Thank you so much for the uh, no CD. Problem. I really, I'm so glad that it's a little different too. And that, to like, you know, I did that thing. Oh God, it's dark. Oh no, it's not dark. We're in a tunnel. All right. Okay, please. With you. All right. Is it gonna turn around? And maybe. Mm -hmm. uh, I don't hear. Right there. It's, it's normal. Oof, oof, oof. Uh, we gotta do it again. <laughs> yes. Okay, ready? Hold still. Wait a minute. God. Maybe it's this lighting. No problem, no problem. I see. Yeah, better the way it was, I think. Okay. It's very difficult with this. Mm, yes, but it's good, it's good. Yes, on other time, it's. Let me see this here. Let me look at it. <laughs> let, me, let me see what it looks like. Uh, maybe, maybe it's possible. Yes, another time. That's just, yeah, I mean, it's what it is. What yeah. it is? All right. Fuck it. Yes, it's good. It's good. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it's, it's a cell phone camera, for God's sake. <laughs> 